My name is Gretchen Rubin, and this is The Happiness Project. The resolution for this week is to read the manual. I found that one of the minor but real annoyances in my day was when I was confronted with devices that I didn't really properly know how to use. And I realized that over the year, there are more and more devices that are like this that I really find a little bit challenging to use. And it's kind of annoying because things like toasters or irons or television sets or washing machines used to feel very simple to, to operate, but now you really have to pay a little attention and read the manual to figure out how to make them work. And I realized that what I was doing was I was constantly frustrated because I would be pushing buttons or trying to get something to work and it wouldn't work and I would feel very frustrated and stupid and also very irritated with the device that I was trying to use. But I was contributing this because I never really bothered to read the manual. It was very rare for me to actually sit down with an instruction book and actually try to learn how to use a device. So when my husband brought home a new video camera, I just sort of took out the box, threw it away, and started pushing buttons, and then I was annoyed when I didn't know how to use it. Now I'm trying to make myself take the time, put myself in a patient mood, wait until I have a little bit of time and energy to focus, and sit down and read the manual and learn how to use something. Now I have to admit, I was a little annoyed when I had to spend 15 minutes with the instructions for my two new toaster oven to learn how to toast, because it seems like you should just be able to figure out how to use a toaster oven by looking at it, but the fact is, that was the toaster that I brought home from the store, that was the toaster that we had, and I just had better read the manual and figure out how to make toast. And also read the manual is helpful in a metaphorical level because it reminds me to take necessary pre preparations. Because sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, I should be able to plan my daughter's birthday party in 10 minutes, or I should be able to learn how to add this feature to my blog just as soon as I sit down. And read the manual reminds me to take the time and to give myself the space that I need to learn how to use things and how to do things properly. So the resolution for this week is to read the manual. And the thought for this week comes from Sydney Smith, who said, a comfortable house is a great source of happiness. It ranks immediately after health and a good conscience. <laughs>